There we are. Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell and you will get all the updates from any future videos. I've not been around for a while. I've had some nice messages of some of you asking where I've been. I've had quite a busy, stressful couple of months. So before I start this video, I would like to say my sponsored beverage of today is Birkentree Water. I was sent this from the Birkentree Company, which is a company in Perthshire. They're a husband and wife team, so they have brought together both their knowledge and also the Highland folklore that the birch tree, which is a very old tree and native to Scotland, has healing and rejuvenation properties. So they wanted to bring this together and have a sustainable woodland for the future. And they have created this cute little water, so I'm going to try it. <laughs> What they do is in springtime they tap the birch trees and collect the sap and then mix it with the water. So they have this one which is their original and they also are going to be in the middle of bringing out a sparkling version with two flavours, one which is a meadow sweet base and one which is a wild berry and cranberry base. I'll link down below all their information. Oh, it smells, it smells foresty. Give this a go. It's good. It tastes like water, but it's got a sort of thickener to it. I don't know. It doesn't taste of anything too bad. Sorry, that was just my partner obviously wanting in on the action. Um, yeah, I like it. And it really does give you a fresh a really fresh feel in your mouth and you just feel like it's clenched your thirst it's a really good really good product for that I've had a really really stressful couple of months the last month being the most stressful of all we have left Aaron we had to move and we had to sort everything out for the move so I've been packing I've been sorting out removal men we decided it was too much stress for me and too much for us to rent a van and with the ferries to be going back and forward so we just said you know what we're just going to get a removal company and they can do it we have got a storage unit for all our stuff because we basically had stuff for a four bedroom house and now we are just sofa surfing until we find something the removal was very stressful trying to work all the logistics of that out but they were great, they came one day, packed everything up, took it away. We left the island that day also, and then the next again morning we met them. They put everything in the storage unit and everything did run smoothly. But as any of you who have ever moved before know, moving is really stressful. So that was pretty much how it's gone. Came back to my parents and they had been looking after my dog Riva, who you've probably seen in a lot of my videos before I got out of the car and literally two seconds later Steve's like Kirsty there's something wrong with the dog and I was like oh my god what's happened so she was in the playpen with other dogs we brought her out and it was like one side of her body wasn't working and she was all and I thought oh no she's having a stroke you know or something so we phoned the vet come straight down now we're about 15 minutes to the vet on the journey, she was getting worse and worse. Her body was shutting down and she wasn't responding to anything. And by the time we got to the vet, she couldn't, she was completely paralyzed. She was like this with her neck and her eyes were just staring. I don't know where they were staring. And her skin was all like really dehydrated, almost like her body was shutting down. And I was trying not to panic and I was trying not to cry, but it was hard. So we got her into the vet and he didn't know what had happened. Nobody knew what had happened. Nobody knew one minute she was in the playpen, the next minute she's like this. Um, he initially thought maybe she had hurt her back. So he said, you know, we're going to keep her in. We'll put her on a drip. And I think if she had been any older, he would maybe have suggested to put her down. It was that bad. She literally just had shut down. So he whipped her through the back and I had this form to sign, consent form, I don't even know what it was for, I still don't know what it was for. 
I'm presuming it was if your dog dies in our custody, you don't hold us responsible or if we have to put her down. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to see her again. She was that bad. Um, <clears throat> so we came home and as soon as I got in the car, I just was in floods of tears. I cried the whole night. I just, I was beside myself. Um, I don't know if you've got an animal and people are like, oh, it's just a dog. But to me, she's more than a dog. She's like my best friend, my little buddy. And I know you shouldn't get that attached to your pets, but she's part of the family. So the next morning I phoned them and there hadn't been much change but she had managed to waddle out, like move out for it and have a pee so I was like well that's a big change, that's good. So then I had to go and meet the removal men who were delivering our stuff and sort it all out at the storage unit so that took ages and then I phoned them, the vets, and said you know I'm going to come down this afternoon because I want to see her and you know she's going to respond, hopefully she'll respond to me. So I got down there about four o'clock and uh, I went in and my friend is the receptionist and she basically looked at me and said, you're never going to believe this. And I thought she was going to say, we've had to put her down. Now this girl should get a complete medal for not panicking and then um, when things are kicking off. But she said, wait here a minute. She went through and little Reva came trotting through with a little blue bandage on her like nothing had even happened. She was slightly slower. Than she was before we handed her in, but you wouldn't know that the dog I left at the vet, and I just, I just, I'm just so thankful and grateful for the vet and the care that they gave her. They think she's maybe had a swelling on her brain, whether she's bumped her head or we took a tick over that morning. My mum said, so it could have been a reaction to the tick, but it was horrible, and I'm just so thankful and grateful to have her home, back safe and sound and alive. So I honestly thought that was it. So that's what's been going on for me. I have been so stressed out my head. So thanks for listening, guys. Go and check these guys out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. You'll get notified every time I do a video. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all your lovely messages of Am I OK? To answer your questions, yes, I'm fine. I've just had a very, very stressful time. But thanks guys, have a nice day and we shall see you soon. Okay, bye.